I'm not talking about any video game or virtual version of the sport. I'm talking about the real deal with paddles and balls and a fig green table and a droopy net stretched across it. If you have it, you'll definitely want to. After you see this next segment, you're shot. I don't want to crawl. I don't want to sit in the chair and watch television. And then... Just I never thought that a documentary about ping pong would be quite so entertaining, let alone one about seniors playing ping pong. Where did the idea for this documentary come from, guys? So it came from a picture in a, in a magazine, an in-flight magazine. It was just a picture of the Australian world champion, and she was competing for the world championships in Rio four years ago now, and she was 97 years old. The picture just was her and an Australian national kid, and I thought that someone representing their country at the age of 97 in a sporting event is pretty pretty impressive. It's not how hard you play, it's where you put it. What were some of the challenges of getting these guys to chat with you or going to meet them? Because you, you cover people from all around the world. When we went to the World Championships in China, we already knew three of the players, the UK players and the Swedes. The biggest challenge was to track down the other players. And you've got to imagine you're 85 to 100 and you've traveled from whichever country around the planet to Inner Mongolia. You're a pretty unique person, so if you meet them, they're very open and they're very happy to talk. What do you hope audiences get out of watching ping pong? I think to laugh and to be inspired, and I think to have some of the energy and the engagement that these players have for life, have that rub off on them. Why are you participating in this competition? Oh. You are so old. Oh, not that old. <laughs> it's time for Rick and I to enter the realm of the dragon.